Hello YouTube, Sam here from youtube.com slash onlivegamer for the new Boston and in this tutorial we're going to be learning more about graphics. Now if you remember from the previous tutorial we created this program that wherever you click it draws a square and then if you animate the square it'll go ahead and move it backwards and if you click it'll create a new square and start animating that one backwards too and if it hits the line um, it'll go back to the other side. So if you don't know what that is, then you may want to move back and learn how to do that first. That is not, you don't have to know how to do that, but it's good to have um, a basic knowledge of graphics before you move into um, this tutorial right here. So whenever they click animate rectangle, um, what we want to do is let's just comment out timer animate dot start. So it will animate a square for us. Uh, we'll have it do something else. So we'll just type G dot draw a line and let's just do pins dot black and now we're going to need a point of type system dot drawing dot point. So we'll just create a new point object and let's just make it 10 across and 15 down. And now for the point two, we're going to create another new point. Now a point is basically a coordinate on whatever object um, your graphics was created for. So let's do 50 across and 90 down. So what I mean, what I mean by this is it's going to be a point on form one because we set G equal to me dot create graphics and me just refers to form one. So this point is going to be a point on form one. Um, 10 pixels, pixels across and 15 pixels down. And we have to create a new point, a new object at the point. And this point is going to be 50 pixels across and 90 pixels down. So we'll go ahead and run this. And you can see that when we click animate rectangle, it's going to draw a line for us. So we'll go ahead, let's change this to um, 100 across. Go ahead and run it. And when we click animate rectangle, it draws at point 10 across, or it starts from the top left corner, goes 10 across and 15 down. And then the second point is 100 across and then 90 down. So let's look at another way to use points. So let's go ahead and comment this out. And what we need to do is come up here and we'll create an array of points. So we'll call it poly points, uh, poly for polygon as point. We don't need to create a new point because we're making an array of type point. We're not making an object, a point object. So now let's set some values um, in our array of points. So for each index of the array, we're going to have to create a new point object. And you can see here that the arguments, it takes X position and Y position. So for the X position, let's just do 10, 10. And then we'll create some other new points. So new point, 20, 20. New point, uh, 20, 10. And then we'll make one more new point at, let's say, 40 across and 50 down. We'll just we'll go ahead and close it off with a curly brace. So now we have an array of points. Now we can use this array to draw a polygon. So we'll just type g dot draw draw polygon and you can see that it takes two arguments our pen and our points. So let's just go ahead and instead of draw polygon let's do fill polygon. So you can see it'll fill in the whole polygon for us and you can see better what it looks like. So we'll just do brushes.black. And then we're going to need an array of points. You can see here that it says points and then it has um, empty parameters as system.drawing.point. So points is an array. Um, it's what the array is called inside of the fill polygon um, method we don't know what this actually does 
but all we need to do is pass a brush and an array of points and it will do everything for us. So we're just going to use the array poly points. So we'll go ahead and close that off. Now if we go ahead and run this, you can see that if we click animate rectangle, it fills in this polygon for us. So let's go ahead uh, and make it a little bit bigger. So point one is 10 by 10. Let's make this one 30 across and 50 down. And then we'll do 40 across and 100 down. So maybe you'll be able to see the polygon a little bit better. So you can see here that it drew one, two, three, four points. And they are at points 10, 10, um, 30 across and 50 down, uh, which is one of these. I don't know which one it is. 40 across and 100 down, which is this bottom one. And then we got 40 across and 50 down. So go ahead, practice a little bit with uh, filling polygons and drawing lines by using point objects. Um, and then once you get familiar with that, go ahead and move on to the next tutorial.